Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to play Sons of the Forest. Oh, yep, this is good. This is the same as they had. Max, no, you do not want that. Setting it to 60. I highly recommend you drop this. The game will push shit, probably. Max, even if it can't do it. Ultra. Motion blur. <laughs> That's off. Ground recuperation, I want that off. Film grade, uh, turn it off. I'm going to leave the color grading to default because that's most ideal. Uh, they still got chromatic aberration on them, a new thing. Lighter, no, not L. Oh, they found a use for the middle mouse button. All right, yeah, that's all good. Don't have to change much. Oh, continue's not working. Ah, uh -huh. custom, yes. Didn't think they actually have it in a launch. It's a good intro song there. Let's begin. So if I don't seem so excited because I have played this before and because I just woke up a bit late to the party, I guess. Puff Corp. Okay, what are we getting? Yep, told you it looks a lot better than when you're actually playing it. Getting around 58 FPS. I'm happy with that. And what's up there? A little bit choppy in places. Am I getting screen tearing? Yeah. <laughs> Virginia Puffton. We know who that is. Three of them, by the way. Oh no, it's the ocean one. Hold on, Kelvin. No. Uh. Oh, this game looks good. Smash the glass out. There's three sites you can crash land at, I believe. This is new. Ooh. This is new indeed. Hmm. I don't remember that. I'm on 4K, by the way, and it's sitting around 50 to 60 FPS. This isn't that great, is it? I'm gonna have to turn it down a little bit. What's gonna be hurting it the most? Texture resolution, maybe. Hmm, I don't wanna to touch anything with distance. I like having everything good with distance. Shadow quality can take a dip. DLSS, hmm, that should be helping it. Let's just try that. I want it to be smooth. Um, that's a lot better. Please tell me they've got mouse smoothing. I think they do, because in the trailers and stuff, it looked like it had a uh, time to help Kelvin. I don't think the game has mouse smoothing. The forest did. It's a little bit disappointing. Not many games have it, but it's such a cool feature. It gives it more of a cinematic thing. Want him to... Get uh, logs drop here. Oh, it's still got that FOE V <laughs> problem that I was talking about, where everything looks big on the side. Maybe I might change to the FOV. Mm, 80. Okay. And then uh, combine items. This is quite slow to navigate around. I hope they work on that. What do we got? Grab everything. Axe should be in one of these, I think. I don't think I have it on me. There's a lot you start with. Thanks, Calvin. Oh, I thought you started with the axe. I'm just not seeing it. Oh, berries. Sticks. Of course. I like how they faded everything out. That's like a crafting thing. You started with an axe. They've taken that away, have they? Birds look good. There was an item on these guys on the trailer. What happened to that? There's nothing on them. Okay, that's something that's annoying. 
that pop up down the bottom left. I cannot emergency. Oh, that's right. God, I'm an idiot. Oh, man. I think it's because I've just woken up. Your axe is in here. Uh, I didn't think about that. I open this. Well, I want this. Um, I close it. That's automatically added it. Oh, that's cool. All right. I might try it a little bit of the building to see how it's changed. Please don't let the tree land on you, Kelvin. Oh, that's right. You've got to move around the tree in here. So it's a little bit more realistic. Now, from what I remember, the grenades are quite dangerous. How's it going to roll? Is it going to fall this way? Nope. They're all going to go every which way. Ooh, a lot of logs. But I don't need to do anything about these. I can just leave them here and get Calvin to do it. I like how you throw them. That's cool. Oh, Zebulon, what are you doing, man? I'm trying to play the game. Okay, got two survival books. This is your prefabs. Oh, hunting shelter. This, there's heaps more here. They didn't really have this flushed out when I played it. They're really blurry. I have a feeling this might be a resolution then. Okay, yeah, they've got to fix that. Well, they've really fleshed it out. I was a little bit worried when I, I was a little bit worried when I play tested it that there wasn't much here at all. There's heaps here now. Oh no, <laughs> electrical tapes made a return. Fly swatter trap. That's the trap that we saw in the trailer that cut off their heads. Back to the start. Lean to planks. Okay, yeah. Now the biggest change is that building has changed the most. I'm gonna just try some of their prefabs. I probably shouldn't, because I probably sh showing you how to build with this game, because it's changed a lot. I don't know what a lean-to is. I probably should take medication. Start with five. That's generous. I don't know what people complain about. I'd read the Steam reviews before, uh, while the game was installing. I think it might be a case that one of the settings I changed has a dramatic effect on the FPS. Now, you don't have to feed them, I don't believe, but we'll just have to wait and see. The game doesn't have dedicated servers, however, I may have found a way of having multiple games on one computer. It's just probably not going to run very well. God, he's so useful already. Hmm. I don't know what caused that to happen. I can place the planks down first. I hope you don't... Hmm. It's a little bit of concern. I don't want to kill him, eh? I don't think you can. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'll show you how many log types there actually are in this game. Yeah. I don't think I can split it like this. He's going to probably pick these up. There's eight different log types in the game. Kelvin's taking a break. That's all right. Okay, just for reference, got a quarter, a half, three quarters, and a full log. And then you times that again because you got the half variance. You have half of this, half of this, half of this, and half of this. And that's how you build. So a good idea if you're going to be building is to place this first, and then it just gets it off the ground. So if you've got any elevation issues like this, like your building comes out to here, it will just stick up above there. You won't have any like clipping issues with the terrain. That's the recommendation of how to build, I think. Now, as you can imagine, having eight different log top variants. <laughs> I hurt myself. It might create a lot of mess. You might have a lot of leftover. So why can't I place this? It's a requirement i got to place first. Unless I grab the long rod type. So these icons are quite small. I'm struggling to make out what they actually are. I'm pretty sure that's a half plank. I think these are a few issues I raised in my things I wanted in the forest. But these are new things. It's not like I was spoiling the game. Oh yeah, here we go. You can do it without... Yeah, just split it along like that. It's good, it prompts you. That's my three-quarter log. Hmm. wonder if he's going to pick it up and add it to the pile. Oh, they did it. Oh, they did it. The Sons of Bitches did it. Oh, man. I'm probably going to get a lot of trouble for looks at this, but this icon thing. I think that wasn't in the game. It was actually my feedback suggestion. So, <laughs> See, this is a problem I'm having. Like, I could come in here and act like I don't know what things are, but I really do, so I can't fake it and say that I don't know what's not and what is. Oh man, Kelvin's a lot more helpful than I remember. It's just good for like making content that I can focus on building and showing you things. Well, Kelvin's doing his thing. Oh, the graphics are so good. The color palette, <laughs> honestly, the color palette is the best thing for me right now. All the colors just look perfect. It's something I've always had a problem with in the forest is that the color palettes just seemed off no matter what you went on. There's always some fault somewhere. So now I need the three quarters. 
I can see it sometimes it can be a bit of a... Thanks, Calvin, I was using that. I haven't really looked into storage options, actually. I think there might be a problem with log storage as in there is none. No, they've got log storage. I'm curious how this is going to work with the way the game is. Um, oh, cool. You don't have to place each stick manually. I think it only works for custom building. Ooh, nice sound. So it only takes four logs. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I'd better double check rather than saying something that's not actually a thing. Shelf, wall shelf. Okay, so looks like we can only store. Oh, oh, love that feature. It's actually improved since I played it. So you store your normal logs like that, and the way you could store these is just place them in the ground. As inconvenient that might be. But, oh, hmm, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm, it's building destruction off. Nice well, one, okay. So I maybe can't destroy this? Okay, this is just something you're gonna have to get used to, I think. Can't stick half logs in the ground. I'm wondering, hmm. Yeah, building's gonna have to be looked at in quite a bit of depth. So like extending this across, maybe I have to wait until it's done before it gives me like a placement to place things. Um, I don't know if I can show you what I mean. Oh yeah, here we go, see? Like that. But see, I can't really do it from here because it's not complete. These are half logs, can't use them. Here's a funny thing is that I made the suggestion that they should put the icon on, but I'm not even looking at the icon. Maybe I just gotta get in the habit of looking at it. Those are quarter logs, yep. I'm seeing things that just might have to take a bit of time to get used to. Just gonna tell them to move it over a little bit. Sorry, it's starting to become nighttime. I don't have a shelter. Ah, these might be a bit more useful. Hmm. Oh, that's gonna work. You get a lot more logs from trees too, eh? It's like the same requirements as the forest. That's cool. Sticks just spawn. I can tell night time is going to get really dark and be very difficult to see, and no doubt a supporter game is required to use this feature. Now that should be up within a week. If you're wondering, Shadow Play has an overlay option, and in that overlay option you can brighten up things and make it so you can see at night in caves and that. That's what I use for the forest, and um, that's what I plan to use for this, but there's a program I think it's called Reshade. It would do in the meantime. Oh, I didn't even notice the little icons, they're so much better. My strength is going down, which is making me think that it works on the calorie system again. Okay, switch mode. So I said that there were two books, it didn't explain the difference between the two. The first one is blueprints, you just build them, but this is custom stuff. And because of the way building is in this, it's not going to have everything in here, you'll have to figure it out a lot on your own, I think. Oh, struts. My suggestion is that you're going to have a lot of pieces that you can remove and that, but I recommend you don't, because it will affect the stability of it. Ah, rope bridge, okay. Okay, let's put away my weapon. Can you... Hmm, I don't know how to put stuff on thing. So with firewood, it's pretty simple. You just make a pile. Oh, you can carry multiple, so that's cool. So let's find a spot. And just make a, a firewood pile. Found my lighter. I think this is going to take some time getting used to aiming it, lining it up, and stuff like that. And you can make this pile huge. You can even make a wall out of it. I wonder if it would be an efficient wall. I should eat. Do I have MREs? Maybe just on hard mode you don't start with them. I'm not saying I could have used that tarp to make the shelter, but we've got this. Ooh. Save. Do you save. And. Yeah. I'm guessing you've got a lot more saves, but pretty simple system. It's got the date and stuff on it, so it's getting dark though, eh? I'm gonna finish this thing. How many can these bad boys hold? Six. Oh, come on, me. Maybe there's a... Like the old system. It's getting so dark, I can't really see what's going on. There's a light on the thing, but it's not carrying over over to the book itself. Oh, yep. These icons are actually useful in the forest, or Not that useful. So, can rotate it. Oh, they got rotate backwards and forwards and it's a lot slower now. So for precision, it's gonna be a lot easier. Oh, you can't make it bigger. I'm sure they'll figure something out. Make a fire so you can actually see what I'm doing. Need sticks. Reinforced fire, okay. Oh my God, it's so dark I can't see a thing. All right, I'm just gonna have to sleep. 
because I don't even think my brightness thing that I do for my videos could even fix this. Whoa. Achievement. Oh. I have to gain a trust. Damn it. Don't look. She's not scared of Kelvin. It's gonna continue, but did he work through the night? <laughs> this is really expensive. I don't recommend building this. Probably not at the start anyway, like I've decided to do. Okay, I've got low food and stuff. And I got no more berries. Ah, uh, yep. This morning now. I can go out exploring. We're getting lots of berries and stuff, eh? But I eat. How much blueberries do I actually give? Salmon berries, that's new. Poisonous? No, I don't think so. Ah, they've actually got sleep, so sleep might be necessary now. I think that was one of the things I probably was hoping for Sons of the Forest. I need to go out and find some food. So eating all these berries isn't really giving me much. It's not giving me much at all. I'm going to be useless in a fight. Uh, yarrow. I wonder if fishing's improved. Okay, sticks. Crafted spear. You need cloth and duct tape. And I haven't started with any. I wonder if I've done myself a disservice by playing on hard mode. Unless I just find a turtle, that might be an idea. I love how it feels so different but so familiar at the same time. I'm tired, eh? Ooh, cave. Hmm. I don't want to go in there yet. I think the HUD stuff is um quite overwhelming, eh? There's the GPS. Oh, she's making herself at home. I know a lot of people are big fans of Kelvin, but still, yeah. She still activates me. Oh, crap, there's a container that I missed. Ah, make sure you check the surroundings. You can buy the knife and another stick. There we go. Can I get these? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's an excessive noise, isn't it? I'm really handicapped by being low on, what's it called? Food. There's a lot of shrubbery and stuff, eh? It's gonna take time to get around. So get my head around. Oh, what have I done? Okay. I was automatically moving then. There we go. It's got to aim a stick at the ground. And there you go. Meat. Oh, I just ate it raw. That wasn't the most ideal thing. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to need a lot more than that. kind of was hoping that I could get some MREs so I could focus on... Ooh, that was an FPS drop. Didn't seem to get any negative effects from eating that meat. I wonder if this is going to be a popular place to build. Seems quite flat. Looks safe. I wonder if it would actually be easier or harder to run with three legs. Oh, got him again. So how do I add meat? There's only one option. Left click on it. Ah, oh, yep. Okay. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Oh, it helps heaps. Don't eat... <laughs> don't eat it raw. It doesn't solve my water problem though. You don't get much water off berries. Yeah, you don't get much at all. I need to sleep though. Oh, I'm just going to sleep. I think mistakes were made. He's still going. I wish there's a lot of brighten things up. Not much at all. Flare, that probably won't last very long. Oh, these help with water quite a lot. This yarrow stuff. And food. Oh, my sleep's gone down heaps. I wonder if eating makes you more tired. Interesting. Uh, that's better. I'm hungry again. <laughs> I'll have to find some of that yarrow stuff. That stuff was really good. I was not expecting a flower to do that much because the blueberries are doing F all way. If you're wondering where I spent most of my playtest when I played the game, it was down there. Building. Yarrow. Beautiful stuff. I'm already in love with it. There's so many berries. Oh, look at this. Jackpot. You can carry heaps of it too. There's heaps of this stuff. This is going to completely fill me up. It's not making me more tired if I eat more. Ah, okay. Your energy basically works on your food and water. Gives a lot of thirst, but not so much food, I think. Alright. Back in the game. Holy crap, there's so much of it. I thought this was supposed to be hard mode. It's strange is that they showed so much ranged combat and firearm combat and they showed no melee combat. I've got my suspicions as to why. You can carry a max of 20 of this stuff. Okay. It's kind of good you don't need a berry pouch anymore. So you can make crafter club. Oh, they scrapped the crafted axe. Interesting. I'm going to go out exploring. There's paths and trails in this one. 
Wasn't really this in the forest. Ah. Oh, I ate that. There we go. Eat it once and you know it's bad. This looks like a new flower. Nope, can't pick it up. Squirrel. Ah, I just heard cannibals. <laughs> That's two other similar sound effects. Hmm. Yeah, this one. Hey, that's one. Ooh, they're sneaky, eh? Blend them with their environment. Oh, they hit hard, don't they? Oh, bloody hell, I can't even see them. Oh, I killed him. Okay. If you want your friend, he's going to be here. Come get him. Yeah, here you go. Come take him. Ooh. Quick. Ah, you bastard. My guess is these guys aren't part of a tribe. Is he throwing rocks at me? <laughs> Cheeky little bugger. Can't cut him up anymore, right? Eh? They're a lot more difficult to see, eh? Let's use a knife, maybe. Nope. I need rope to make a craft a bow. More. Ooh, no way. That's the village. I'm not starting something that I can't finish. That was cool that they called out like that. Whether it was a warning screen or not, I'm not sure. Is that a tree fall? I'm guessing that's Kelvin. That's cool. Man, that was... Yeah. Look, dude, I'm not fighting you in the forest. Come down here. Hey. Where's my fire? It burns out completely. Okay. Calvin will let me know if there's something that I need to know about. I'm covered in blood. I need to saw that. Is this a thing still? <laughs> I just the body was on here. Oh, there we go. He's on fire now. I need to wash myself off. Can you do that? I was kind of hoping you could just look at the water. Did that... Clean me off. Yep. The blood's slowly disappearing. There you go. What'd you turn into? Oh, lots. Okay, cool. Man, this rope stuff. Hmm. Need rope to make it. I haven't found that yet. Guess it's in the village. Maybe rope's more scarce. What can you make with the bones? Probably bone armor. Need rope and duct tape. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too scarce. I should really finish this little platform here. Calvin's doing a great job. Yeah, this is running fine. I'm on 4K, so I'm happy. Just had to touch up a few of the settings. Forgot that I can hold two at a time doing this. There we go. And let's see. Oh. Makes it disappear. I thought you could dismantle it. Yes, you can't. So can I build off this? No, it's not letting me. There's collision if I move too close to it. Maybe because like, it's flat. Actually, that's probably a good thing. What am I thinking? Yep, it was because it was flat with the ground. So it was me that was in the wrong. Ah, bugger. I didn't want to do that. That loosened it. Is that on an angle? Why is it doing that for? Because now I can't... Oh, yeah, you can. I'm just sitting in the ground a little bit. There we go. It's just a bit faded. Oh, it lifts up. Otherwise, it works like a ramp. I get it. All right. Something like that. There you go. You work away along making floorboards. Like this. No. Oh, yeah. I suppose I can do that. I really need to. But it's an option. No. Oops. Um, that's to make a doorway. I might cover this in the next episode. A bit of custom doing. Hmm. You knew that was my first game as Sons of the Forest. It's wondering what to do, eh? It's interesting. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.